Hello everybody, welcome back to Farming Smooth 22. The work has just finished doing the cover crop. I've already started this video once, but I had to do something in real life and it got in the way, so it's now finished doing the cover crop. And it didn't really use much seed at all. I think it was about 15% of a hopper, which really was a negligible amount. So what we're going to do is we're going to put this over here, as we now own the seed drill. Very nice to say that. And we're going to go and cut two grass fields. We have field number 12, which is our brand new field, and we have the grass field just over there where we've just been. So let me just put this down, drop it off. I was actually preparing to uh, get the voucher set up because this tractor was being used for the drilling. But as it turns out now, we can put it on the higher horsepower tractor. And yes, I think probably... Um, next time a suitable, even higher horsepower tractor comes up in the uh, sales, we'll get it and we'll sell the voucher and possibly the other Massey Ferguson. We will see. Just depends what it is, because I, like I said, I want to get a Massey Ferguson next. Ideally, a 77.26, but actually I'm not 100% sure if that's going to be higher horsepower than this tractor. It's probably about the same. So yeah, nothing set in stone. Just my current plan, and my plans do change on a very regular basis. So, let's go over to field number 12, the brand new field, and we'll go and cut it. It's, it's such a small area, it's a, a tiny area, but it would be a shame to not cut it. And I've just checked the prices for grass and hay, and it's actually more expensive for grass than it is for hay. It saves us a job, we can just basically cut it, row it bail it and sell it. Easy money. Okay, so here we are. This piece of grass here on the left hand side is very uneven, so we can't really cut it. We can cut a very small area if we were getting desperate, but we're not really desperate, so we'll leave that for now. This is the area I want to be, going up to the corn crop. Switch that on. Switch this mower on. And, yep. Anything is good. Any kind of money is going to be handy to have. Because we still have a £5,000 loan, which must be repaid today. Because I just don't like having loans. They're handy. I do use them. I just don't like having them. If we can keep them for a very short period of time, then it's good. Right, okay, so... Everything seems to be set up properly. Go up here. Again, it has become quite an even near the trees, so we'll just get whatever we can do. Yeah, it's not bad. We might get two bales. Bear in mind it's a very big baler. 9,000 litres per bale. We'll probably drop one bale, and then the other one will stay in the baler, or maybe all of it will, and it'll be taken over to the field. In fact, that'd be better if all of it stays within the baler and nothing gets dropped here. That saves having to bring the telehander up here to move one bale. Potentially one bale. We'll just have to see how it goes. It's quite a thick crop here, so that's promising. Hmm, it's going well. No fertiliser applied, because we have just literally bought this field. But I'm happy with the purchase, hopefully you are too. This field stands out to me as being one of the very pretty fields. Instead of just a totally open, flat field with no trees at all. And you get two crops. Well, three crops actually. You get trees, grass and corn. Anyway, I'll continue. We'll get all this done. We'll then go straight back over to the other field, get that cut as well. And then we'll return with the windrow, or the rake, and the baler.
nearing an end on what has been a very easy job. But it's not finished yet, and we still have to do the windrowing and baling. So, um, yes, of course, the only thing which I have to do in order here is the baling. Just have to do the far away field first, so that at least I have a chance of bringing the bales back to here. But we'll just see how it yielded. I don't think it yielded very well. But this field, on the other hand, looks really good. Looks fantastic. And I did miss a bit over here, so we'll get that. Because <laughs> it's annoying when I, when I actually miss stuff. There we go. Okay, right, so let's fold everything up. Take it back to the yard. Drop these off. And we'll put on the rake. Got to squeeze back in here. And then we've got to squeeze the rear mower into that gap. Which really shouldn't be too difficult. Now I've currently got the greenhouses set to automatic selling. In the winter time we're going to have it set to uh, storing and then we're going to be able to pick up the pallets ourselves. But in the summertime at this time of year we're just too busy. Because we do get a great deal of pallets out of it. Uh, so yeah, it's just for the best. The greenhouses probably do need water and the chickens probably do need food. So yeah, those things need to be done at some point. Right, so since we're here we will rake this field first and then we'll rake field number 12. It's a pretty decent size rake. Try and get all the grass out of my newly drilled oilseed radish field. But that looks like a really good amount of grass. It will be interesting to see how much money we can make just from selling some grass. But I was amazed when I looked at the prices. You get more for grass at the moment over hay. Let's just take a look here. See if it's still the same. 157, 154. So yeah, you can still get more for grass. Fantastic. the pinch points just there. And I'm not going to rest until we have sold the bales just in case the prices go in the wrong direction. It could improve but it's unlikely. I think the price it's currently at is quite good. So yes we'll move to September once we've finished with all of the grass work. Train! But wind drone will only take a couple of minutes. I really like how around the trees there's not much grass. All the trees are sucking the nutrients out, plus the shade. Really thin on the ground just here. And like I said, this is probably where the olives are going to go. And uh, if I get it the way I want it to go, uh, the olives won't be that long until we do plant them. Of course we have to plant them at the right time of year. I am unsure of when we plant them, I should take a look. March until June. So that's good timing, it means by the time we have the money, next year we should be able to put some in. Actually when I say some, I mean all of them in this grass area. Because otherwise it's not going to be worth renting the harvester. So yes we have to go, uh, we have to go all out, we have to get everything get as many as possible put in and then in the future where the corn currently is we can put some more in that would be the ideal plan uh, yeah chances of filling the entire field though in one go are pretty slim they are not cheap right so we'll just finish off here not quite going to be wide enough to get the whole lot 
so yeah it can be a bit awkward doing this corner another good reason to put olives in <laughs> yes I have already talked myself into doing olives we are not going to be keeping this as grass but it'd be olives and grass so I'll get back to the farm and I'll see you in a second now we need to use some real power this is going to be the first time I've bailed on a hill Ah, should have left myself some more space uh, yes it's going to be interesting to see how the tractor performs because this tractor is about 250 horsepower which I believe is roughly what the baler wants. And the baler might want a bit less. Um, so yes, going uphill is always the challenge. We'll see how it performs. If it can't do it, it's fine. We can still bail it. We'll just have to go downhill. Drive uphill with it switched off. And bail going downhill. But let's hope it doesn't come to that. Here we go. Have a bit of a run up. Eight miles per hour. Seven, six. <laughs> uh, let's see what we can get down to. We did already have some straw in here, so yes, obviously that increases the chance of dropping a bale in this field, which isn't the end of the world. Well, it can do it. Seven miles per hour. I think maybe on that side we'll get down to five or six because it gets very steep. Yeah. So it's a perfect example of why we do need still another bigger tractor. But I don't know if I'd ever sell this tractor because I, I do like it. And it's a good size. We just need one which is over 300 as well. We could sell the Massey Ferguson and the Valtra, which I have considered on a number of occasions now. But then it is also handy to have a little yard tractor. So I guess yeah, we could just get a whole new load of tractors. We could get the little Izeki tractor or something, and then get a bigger Massey Ferguson. We could get the 8S. I, don't, I wasn't going to get the 8S. I prefer a 7700 series. Um, but the 8S certainly ticks the right boxes for power. Failing that, I'd go for a fence. And of course, downhill, no problem at all. Yep, so here comes the first bale. I would say earlier than predicted, because it took quite some time to get the first straw bale through. Ah, that would explain it. Because we're doing grass, it seems to have reduced the amount of litres per bale. We're still set to 240 centimetres, which is the biggest. But yeah, we're getting less in a bale, so there we go. But even if it was set to 9,000, which it can't be, obviously, uh, we still wouldn't have uh, done it without dropping some. So this is good, because it means we're getting loads. We're getting lots and lots of grass. I would expect to get several bales off the other field. Right, so I'm going to continue here. We'll, we'll finish this field. We'll then head over to the other field, get that done, and then we're going to have to get the JCB with the trailer and start loading them up. We'll be taking them to the livestock market, which conveniently is not too far from either of the two fields. Sort of halfway between the two. Oh, and that must be our payment for the worker. So it must have cost £570 to drill the oilseed radish. I think it's probably quite heavy. Lifting the back of the tractor up. Gonna have to get rid of it here. I thought we could just leave it there, but no. Surprisingly, we could, uh, yeah, it just goes to show we do need a bigger tractor. Or maybe some rear wheel weights. That could be very handy. So we technically. Oh, come on, get off. We've got four. A bit less than four. Come on, no, don't go back in. 
out you go. Thank you. I have to charge you rent. Well, we're doing really well. It's enough time lapses for one day, I think. That is the problem, because there's so many different jobs that we have to do just to produce a grass bale. Uh, a lot of travelling around, lots of time lapses have to be done. And even for this very small area, it does eat up the time. But like I said, I think it really is the travelling. Going to and from fields takes time. So let's hope we can get something good. As I said, anything is good. We're just using the grass that we have because it would be a shame to see it go to waste. Let's hope those prices are still good for grass. Uh, but yeah, it's uh, it, it's nice not to have to ted it and still make slightly more money. It's a monster of a baler. So I will add some mods to the series when I find that I'm running low on the base game machines. At the moment, I just feel like we've got so much stuff, so many different things to choose from. Eventually though, same as with 19, I get to the point where I think, okay, we've used this quite a bit. I've used all the other machines as well. Let's try and get some mods in. Right, so look at that. We've got four bales up at the other field, and we have many bells here as well. Not counted them just yet. Okay, we'll spin around to get the piece I missed. Anything left in the baler can be used next time. So probably for straw. Or maybe for hay. Good. So we'll take some more out. And there we go. And it should have actually recorded it on the uh, statistics page. 13. Fantastic. Out you go. So let's get all those 13 bales put onto the bale trailer. And we'll take them to the livestock market. Really running low on space. There is nowhere to put this. Um, might be the odd gap, but I think I'll just put it on the end. Keep the tractor attached for now. Spin around here parking next to our little workshop. See that's the kind of mods I'm going for at the moment rather than machines but I will go for machines because mods are fantastic. Uh, okay so JCB, where do I put my JCB? Won't be far away. There it is. And the trailer is there so we would we'll just use the JCB for everything. Tow the trailer. One of my best purchases, this telehandler. Oh no. Oh, I thought we could pick it up with this. Oh, it's one of those pin type hitches. Shame. Uh, in that case, I don't know how to. Oh. We're going to have to take the tractor over there as well. I don't think you can reconfigure the hitch type. Right, okay. Um, I will probably use the lorry then because that's going to be faster. But we're still going to have to drive the JCB there. So we're going to be spending a bit of time travelling, which is again the reason why things take a long time. So I don't think I need to be too strict about going in threes. I think stacking in twos is going to be fine. Uh, it's a big trailer. We only have 13 bells. 
So here we go. That was it. Just tab straight past it. Uh, it's empty, so that's good. And we'll park it just here. I don't think you can have both curtains open at the same time, can you? That would be interesting. It would be good to have both open. But I don't think you can. Let's just see. So that was currently uh, left side, left back, left right, right back. So no, uh, we can't have both, both sides open at the same time. Interesting. I hadn't even thought of it until now, but it would just make it easier for me so I don't spike the uh, the curtain, put the bell spike all the way through. Of course, you, you can't spike it in the game, but if you are role-playing. Unless, of course, there is a way of doing it, maybe you can open both curtains, I just didn't see an option. and stack these fairly precisely. Should have picked up that bale first, it's in the way. Okay, right, so what have we got? We've got two here. And we've got three over there. It'll take just a minute to stack. If this JCB can tow a dolly, then we could have put it on a dolly. This trailer. But yeah, I'm not too sure if it can even tow that. Okay, that's looking neatish. Neat enough. As long as the bells are within the curtains, not sort of glitching through them, uh, yes, it's not a problem. We have spent quite a bit of time in August. It is time we moved on to September. And then we can see what different machines have been put into the used machinery sale. We can't afford anything, but it's still interesting to see. We can take out a loan if something was really worth getting. Of course we can take out a loan. But I am still trying to pay one back. And here we go, our final bail for this field. Hopefully that's all of them. I do tend to just overlook one for some reason. But yeah, it seems to be fine. And with there only being four over at the other field, yep, yeah, we'll have no issues at all fitting them in. There we go. Right, well, I'll head off in the JCB first of all, then we'll come back for the lorry. And uh, yeah, go from there. Our four bales. Looking lovely. Just get them ready. And now we'll get the lorry, which we'll probably leave on the road. Right. Straps. Don't want these bales going flying. Close the curtain. And we're off. Well, we don't really need the beacons on, but yeah, <laughs> they look good. Ah, oh, look, a very small amount is coming through the curtain. A very small amount, but so far we have 58,500 litres in the trailer. The first load is on, now for these final two. I managed to get those three high. Ooh, I'm breaking. Not stopping. There we go. Right, just <laughs> make that a bit more level. And then we'll be ready to close the curtains, and finally we can sell them. There we go. Persuade them in. 
I think it's probably going to be coming through the curtain though, looking at it. But it wouldn't be the first one. Yes. <laughs> really badly. So yes, I'm going to go and put the JCB in our production yard. It's just up the road. It's not actually going to be needed again for a few days anyway. And if we can attach it to the grape trailer, which is up here, even better, because we can take two things back at the same time. We're going to be harvesting grapes in uh, just a few episodes time, so let's see. I really don't know what kind of hitch this has. Uh, looks promising. Looks like it should attach to it. Ah. Or maybe not. I'm sure that's the right hitch. Yeah, it looks like the right hitch. Anyway, uh, that's weird. Maybe I'm just doing something wrong. Right, we'll turn the beacon off, we'll turn the engine off, and we'll jump into the lorry and get these bells sold. Finally! Better strap them. Make sure they're all strapped. I think they are. 84,500 litres. I believe we have to go this very pretty way, which is nice. And a red arrow has just appeared next to the number, the price. It hasn't changed, but it's imminent. It is still the price I said before. Looks nice down there, really nice. So we couldn't have timed this better, really. That was at its peak. We're selling at its peak. So here we go. How much have we made just by mowing some grass that we had available? 4,110 plus these. Nine thousand uh, two hundred and forty-nine. Fantastic. That really was good. So yeah, worth doing. Certainly worth doing because it means we can now repay the loan. Just do that straight away. It was only five thousand pounds, so we're back to ten thousand six hundred ninety-seven. But it's all our own money, and this is the place where the traffic never stops. If you've been following the series for a while, you'd have known that I've been trying to sell my corn. The price is always bad. So we can check the price in September. And we can see if we can finally sell it. I would love to get rid of it. It's been so long. But we do have more corn to harvest. Let's just first of all check it now. Yep. We're looking for at least 1500 Currently the best price is just over 1200 So goodbye August. Let's welcome in September. Oh, and the forecast is for rain. How lovely. Oh, it's raining now. Even better. Uh, corn is... Oh, yes! Over at the train station, 1604. And I would say that is the peak. Because I said before, that's not the peak. And it was the peak. And it's taken all this time to get back to that price. So I need the McCormick so that we can start carting what a grim day good job we're not planning to do any harvesting today but the grape harvest is coming soon just not in this episode okay there's the corn, 28,000 so it won't all fit but um, yes, luckily the train station is not too far away. And I've been told that I can actually reverse the train. I don't have to go all the way around the map. So that would save a bit of time. Our cover crop has germinated. Natural fertiliser, that's green manure. Looking good. I've just checked the used machinery. There's one thing. This Schaffer telehandler. But we already have the JCB, so we don't need to buy it. Is it a good deal? 
seems alright. But yeah, we're going to have to uh, not go for that one. Get it tipped into here. And we'll have to call the train. When I'm tipping the second load, we'll call the train. It's probably a long way from here at the moment. It tends to be. Okay. Oh, don't hit the roof. Okay, there's no collision. I need to make sure I give the chickens and also the greenhouses everything they need next time. Only 6,000 litres left and yes the grapes are ready so next time we can harvest. Uh, the forecast is showing sunshine so with a bit of luck later in this month. Let's go and get that train. Out it goes. Right, so uh, let's press this button over here, see how far away it is. It is 2.6 kilometers away, which, yeah, I think for this map is quite some distance. In fact, that's possibly uh, the other side of the map completely, where it goes to another place. That's the place we're selling to. The train will pull up here eventually. Good nail collection. Just missing the hammers. Need a good hammer collection. Uh, right. <laughs> Probably don't just walk out into the line without even looking. Especially when you've just summoned a train. How far away are we? 2.2. Right, okay. I'll jump cut. Just noticed that. There's a Discover Erlengratz poster. Just up there. Very nice. Right, okay, where's my train? Must be here by now. 500 metres, there it is. Right, well I think the engine stops about here, so we'll be in the right place to jump into it. Oh, I love crossing that. <laughs> Leaves it late. Get about two seconds to get off the line. Okay, was I in the right place? Nice! <laughs> uh, right, so let's uh, let's get this opened up. Open the cover. Is that the right cover? Probably not. This was, yeah, that's the one. Uh, Twenty-eight thousand five hundred and two. I like that it only fills where you're actually putting it to. It doesn't just fill it evenly. And yet, as I'm told, if we go backwards, which is still to the same place, because it's like a loop, um, I should be able to sell it. So instead of going all the way around the map, we just basically go to... Oh, in fact, we should be going past our field, don't we? Yeah, we should be going past our field. It's the next one, over the river. There it is, there's my forest! Ah, oh, it's getting on so well. Haven't seen it recently. Lovely. Anyway, we are about to be thrown out of the train. There's my yard. And our grass field. Yep, this is the end, so let's collect the money. 45,811 pounds. Wow, I wasn't expecting that much. That's fantastic. So we end on a high. We have £57,866 now. Plenty more work to be done very soon. But that is it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. And until next time, see you again very soon. Bye for now.